Actually, my name is Emmanuel Kosa. Um, by reason of visiting a year, uh, I've been coming in connection with the uh, issue of the ministry. Mm -hmm. What is really happening in your ministry? Um, actually, as a minister of God, you, you need to understand that for you to be able to function, you need to consider those who have been raised, especially before you. And with the fact that I've been here at Charis since 2012, June, until that time when I went home. But it was in 2016, <laughs> September. <laughs> So my experience with Charis here yeah, obviously will keep calling me back. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, I believe things have been happening in your ministry that made you to come back. Would you say you have a testimony? Would you say you came here, you were facing something, and when you went back home, something happened? No, actually, we, we, we've been seeing God's intervention. Remember, um, as Apostle used to tell me about the ministry, um, after the the, 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 the planting of the ministry there, I also came back to be with him and he imparted and released me to the ministry. So obviously testimony has been there, we've been seeing God's intervention, God healing people, God delivering people. So but as a servant of God obviously you, will, you won't be satisfied, you will keep coming for more, you'll keep coming for more. And by the grace of God, you were able to meet the man of God on one on one session. How was the experience? Will confirm the prophecy that he gave to you whether to be true or not? Um, actually, as much as you, you said, mm -hmm. to much grace, uh, my experience has been wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, he been giving much more of the advices yes. on the basis of the work that is seen coming. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how are you feeling right now? No, I'm feeling so good. I'm looking forward to go back home and doing the work of God. And, 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 and no, 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 I'm energized actually to face any challenge that can come. As much as I'm, I'm having the understanding that these challenges are there to build us, not to destroy. I believe that you are in a right position to encourage other ministers of God out there. As you are here, you are able to encounter the power of God upon your life through the Apostle. What can you say to them? Um, as actually, my fellow ministers of God out there, what they need is just to to have the grace of recognizing what God has given to to His servant here, and not allowing themselves to to suffer with the work of God out there. But they have to come for impartation, so that when they are back to their places, they may be able to function. We give glory to Jesus for your life. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, my name is uh, Reverend Winston Carby and I'm from New York and I really need like an impartation and a breakthrough in my ministry and after seeing this great man of God on television, I decided to come up and pay a visit. What was really happening in your ministry? Well, there, there was a bit of stagnation and I really desired growth and I recognized that I was somewhat hindered and I know Biblically speaking, the apostolic anointing can give you a breakthrough. Yeah, so. By the grace of God, you were able to meet the man of God on a one-on-one -on -one session. How was the experience? I believe you watch him on YouTube, and this time I believe it was a different experience on its own. How was it? And confirm the prophecy that he gave to you, whether to be true or not. It was on target, to be honest with you, and uh, it was a humbling experience. To be honest with you, he was a real humble man of God. and. Uh, and I think you know it shines a light on the way how we ought to behave, especially when we are ministers. And truly, he's a servant of God. He displays that, and I was tremendously blessed when I met him. And he prophesied you confirmed the prophecy. Well, he, he, he prophesied to me, you know, concerning my home and concerning my ministry, and and I usually say the same thing. So I know it is a fact. There's no doubt. He's not. He's not making it up. It is just based on facts that, amen. How are you feeling right now after the prayer?
well i'm extremely excited you know i'm just waiting to go man to share the good news truly i'm blessed i keep on repeating that so i'm so joyful to be here and i honestly don't believe this won't be my last time i'll be coming back to give a testimony concerning some of the things he has spoken in my life i believe that as god has done it for you you're in the right position to encourage other ministers of god out there in the world what are the words of encouragement that you can say to them well truly you know i i am here by by just viewing the television and it's it's a blessing that when you obey god and i thank god that the apostle obeyed god and if you obey god and walk in that humility i think god will use you the man of god has blessed me and he truly demonstrated the true sign of an apostle truly in fact the bible said the apostle planned churches but they also established believers and i just believe today that i've been established on a new level Amen. We give glory to Jesus for your life. We believe that you are blessed, you are free, you are delivered. And you are coming back with a testimony to shake your enemy in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Amen.